So I just watched Unforgivable starring Sandra Bullock and to be honest, it was kind of a mess for me. I started watching the movie and immediately said to myself, yep, I know what happened. And to be honest, my theory was correct. Needless to say, the movie was both sad and thrilling. It really talks about the impact of trauma, whether it's trauma from Ruth, Katie, or Steve. Also, it truly makes you think about the impact of our decisions and the domino effects of losing someone that you love and need like a parent. In today's video, I will recap The Unforgivable starring Sandra Bullock, and I will also seek to answer the core question, did Ruth make the right decision by not telling the truth? Please know that there are some spoilers, so if you have not seen the movie, then you've been warned. The Unforgivable starring Sandra Bullock follows a convict, Ruth Slater, who was sentenced to 60 years in prison for the murder of Sheriff Mac Wellen. After her early release from prison, Ruth attempts to locate her sister, Catherine, aka Katie, who was adopted by another family. During the pursuit, issues from a past life are constantly coming up. While watching this play out throughout the movie, I kept on thinking to myself, man, how hard is it for someone to try to make it right when you are released from prison? I mean, you can even imagine that when you are identified as someone who killed someone, especially a sheriff or a cop, like your life at this point, especially in a small town, will forever be changed. You got that sense of frustration and concern as you watch Ruth try and attempt to normalize herself and make amends. Ruth is followed by Steve and Keith Wellen, sons of Sherrick Mack Wellen, who wants revenge for their father's murder. Keith believes that Ruth doesn't have any remorse for shooting their father and doesn't deserve an early release. In the meantime, Katie, who now lives with her new adopted family, doesn't remember Ruth at all. However, she gets blurred flashbacks of her past. As Ruth comes out of prison, Katie coincidentally gets into a severe car accident. Her adoptive parents, Michael and Rachel Malcolm, decide to hide Ruth's existence from Katie. Steve Wellen, son of Mac Wellen, found out that his wife, Hannah, has been cheating on him with his brother, Keith. The revelation mentally traumatized Steve, and in the heat of the moment, he decides to unleash his anger upon Ruth. Steve abducted Katie's adoptive sister, Emily, who we saw with Ruth and believe she was Katie. As soon as Ruth arrived at Corner's Auditorium to watch Katie perform on the piano, she got a call from Steve, who informed her that he had kidnapped Katie. Ruth visited the construction site at Harbor Island and confronted Steve to save Katie. Though she quickly realized that Steve had mistakenly kidnapped Emily, Ruth told Steve that he would lose everything if he took the grave step after the trigger was pulled, that there was no turning back and he would end up in a void that would never end. You definitely got the sense as you were watching this that Ruth was speaking from a sense of personal experience and she was trying to relay the same pain and frustration to Steve. Steve could watch and see the emotion coming out directly from Ruth and could directly connect with that emotion. Steve was not a criminal but was emotionally traumatized due to the loss of his father. And hence, at the crucial moment, he made a conscious decision not to pull the trigger. He released both Emily and Ruth. Liz had already informed the cops, and as soon as they arrived, they arrested Steve. What's sad about the movie is that Ruth's mother died while giving birth to Katie. Their father had outstanding debt and even mortgaged a house. Because of these debts, their father gave up and shot himself. At that time, Katie was just five years old, and Ruth got the responsibility to raise Katie. However, before Ruth can find a job to run the house, the bank sent them a notice to vacate. Vicious. The bank was attempting to seize the property when the incident occurred. On that day, the bank's employees arrived at the house with Sheriff McWillan to evict Ruth and Katie from the property. When Ruth refused to leave the house, McWillan offered a room in his house where the sister could have lived peacefully. But as soon as Mac entered the house, not Ruth, took their father's gun and shot Mac to protect Ruth. The gun recoiled and hit Katie near the eye and nose. After the gunshot, Ruth found Katie fainted on the staircase. Ruth made a quick decision. She took the gun and left the house in the car with Katie. In the diner, when Ruth asked Katie about the incident, Ruth discovered that Katie had no memory of pulling the trigger. She forgot the incident due to her trauma. Hence, to save her baby sister, Ruth took the blame and got herself arrested so that Katie could live a peaceful life outside the prison. Let's quickly discuss the decision and why I believe Ruth made the wrong decision by not telling the truth about what happened. My first point to defend this claim is that hiding a decision like that from the world means that Katie may at some point realize that she killed someone. 
Not providing Katie with the support she needs to properly grieve and address this traumatic experience will negatively impact her development. My second point is that the decision to hide what really took place means that the family never really had a chance to contextualize what really took place. Ruth as the older sister taking the life of a person is different than a child making a mistake. In most states, a child as old as eight can be sent to jail, but Katie was only five. Based on my research, most juvenile judges who are faced with the child who has committed a serious crime consider detention as a last resort. They might start in detention, but the Department of Child Services becomes involved and works with the child and family to see if there's another alternative that is more rehabilitative in nature. Ruth was about to face 60 years in prison for a crime that she did not commit. Yes, Ruth handled the situation wrong when the sheriff arrived, but does that warrant jail? Ruth choosing to leave her sister and go to jail and not choosing to face the problem brought more pain than good. Ruth could have changed everyone's lives by choosing to stand and tell the truth, and by doing so, Ruth could have saved everyone involved. By doing so, Ruth would have provided everyone with the opportunity to effectively close and grieve appropriately. I thought this particular story was extremely powerful and gripping. And yes, I have seen similar stories in the past, but it is something special to be able to see something as unique and powerful as this particular movie. I felt like this movie can provide us with a glimpse as to how we think and how people should think in the face of dramatic situations. I would love to hear your thoughts. Please share your perspective in chat and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.